what is blobby texture in this session we are going to discuss about blobby texture blobby texture it is also known as blobism it is a term given to postmodern architectural style characterized by the curved and the rounded building shapes and it is also called as blob architecture blobby texture buildings appears to have an organic form that is soft and free flowing however a building that simply features an unusual shape does not qualify as a blobby texture architecture rather it is the design process that determines whether it falls under the style of architecture the plans for blob buildings are created through computer modeling software instead of physical models in fact the creation of blob architectures is impossible without the use of computer softwares with such programs architects create the building forms by taking digital modeling platforms and manipulated their algorithms here we are going to see few examples for blobby texture architecture building this brimingham based departmental store is a truly a remarkable examples of a notion called blobby texture its form escapes the usual structure of edges and walls into a curved and rounded sculpture one could even call it as an organic architecture this building was designed by architecture firm future systems the self rich building features a curve factor that comprises of 15000 anodized aluminum disc mounted on a blue background which gives it the illusion of being a series of cells one of the most iconic blobby texture building is the philological library for the free university of berlin in germany the nickname the berlin brain this library was designed by norman foster and looks just like a brain both on the outside and inside kunsthaus glas designed by sir peter cook and colin fournier this art museum is known by locals as friendly alien an amazing looking building completely other to anything else around it it has a blue acrylic outer skin that acts as a light panel at night and so lights up the skyline the kunsthaus external skin of an overwhelming blue color at daytime becomes a huge luminous landmark at night the big median facade designed by the berlin based firm realities Sage Gate Head designed by Norman Foster and Spencer D. Gray. Foster designed another iconic block building, the Sage Gate Head, located in England. This music hall hosts concerts and music classes. This space was purpose built for the acoustics and it is a multi-venue music space. As well as this, its impressive shape distinguishes Tyneside's Gate Head space. The building is made of curved glass and aluminum, giving a mirror effect. great on a sunny day as it reflects the blue sky above it the safe gates it contains three individual performance spaces that can be seen on the outside due to the glass and steel shell once inside however individuals can walk between the three different buildings and see their detached forms the metropole parasol also known as literally incarnation's mushroom as it resembles six mushroom like structures and it was completed in 2011 by german architecture firm meyer architects it is founded in sevel's la incarnation square the blobby texture structure consists of six parasols that are inspired by both the ficus trees in the nearby plaza and the walls in the neighboring cathedral of sevel at 150 meter by 70 meter and a towering height of 26 meters the metropole parasol claims to be the largest wooden structure in the world and another interesting example is golden terraces warsaw poland this lot terrace building was designed by the jert partnership and was completed in february 2007 the transparent glass roof of the mall gives the illusion of hills and covers an indoor courtyard
The Museum of Pop Culture, founded by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen, has had numerous lives as several different institutions. It includes Experiencing Music Project and the Science Fiction Museum and Hall of Fame. It was designed by famous architect Franco Gehry. The structure is similar to many of Gehry's buildings, employing a sheet metal construction that can be seen at the Guggenheim Museum Bilbo, the Gehry Tower and the Walt Disney Concert Hall. The massive building has often been compared to a smashed electric guitar and like many pieces of blobby texture and has been the source of both much criticism and acclaim. The famed Eden project found in Cornwall United Kingdom comprises two biomes that hold plants from diverse climates and environments and it is intended to provide environmental education through the illustration of interdependence between the plants and the peoples. Consisting of hundreds of hexagonal and pentagonal ethylene tetrafluoroethylene cells supported by geodesic tubular steel dome, the biome recreates the rainforest and Mediterranean environments and holding appropriate plants and wildlife within their confines. Let's see the history of Blobby Texture. The first Blobby Texture building was the Freshwater Pavilion designed by Lars Spydog of Knox Architects and built by Kaas Ostris in the Netherlands in 1993. It stood until 1997 and was the first building completed designed through computer generation. However, the idea of blob architecture was not introduced to the masses until 1995. That year, architect Craig Lane wrote an essay on blobs or why tectonics is square and topology is groovy for any magazine, where he describes his experiments using graphic softwares to create a new blob-like designs. With that essay, Lane is credited with giving blob architecture its name. With that, we are ending our video. See you all in our next video. Do subscribe and learn together. Thank you.